So thank you very much for choosing GH1 TV. Let's start with our very first story for the evening. And here, the Northern Regional Security Council has given the regent of Nyangpala a week to perform the funeral of his late father in order to allow for the newly enskinned chief of the area to assume his responsibilities. While well, the directive follows the pleas from the regent during a RECSEC meeting held on Friday after violence broke out in the community on Thursday night. Well, the violence, according to GH1 News' Noah Nash, is as a result of the enskinment of the new chief for Nyangpala after being without a chief for nine years. Well, the violence in the community led to the closure of all basic schools in the area in and around Nyangpala temporarily. Well, the disagreement of the enskinment led to sporadic gunshots within the Nyangpala community for over two hours, forcing residents and the UDS to Students of the Nyangpala campus to flee out of the community or the arrival of the joint police and military tax force from calm to from Operation Calm into the community whilst residents stayed indoors. Well, our Northern Regional Correspondent Noah Nash visited and revealed that calm has been restored about shops, markets and business activities within the community have been shut down despite the police and military patrol activities. At the time the news team visited the Nyangpala Palace, it looked deserted, but women living close to the palace were seen fetching water. So those are some updates in the Nyangpala area. Very shortly we will be crossing over to the community. But before then, let's get some updates on the situation on the ground in Nyangpala. So very shortly, uh, let me go over the phone lines and engage Abdul Fatal, uh, who is joining us from Nyangpala for more updates on this particular situation. Uh, uh, you are the registrar uh, in the area. Kindly share with me um, why was... Uh, give me an update on why all these violence broke out. Uh, I have not gotten your question uh, clearly. All right, so like I just updated my viewers a short while ago, there is already a regent in the area. Okay, there's already a regent in the area. Maybe you didn't get the details. Let me just bring a bit of highlights of the details for the sake of our viewers, and then I'll join you again with the oh, you can, question, you if you don't question, mind. Now, the Northern Regional Security you, Council has given the regents of Nyangpala a week to perform the funeral rites of the uh, late father. Let me come to you. Now, I just want to find out from you, why did the overlord go ahead to escape the chief when the funeral of those who passed away have not been performed? And while involved were the regents, and that's what I was talking about earlier on, there was already a regent in the area. Was a regent involved in the decision to enskin a new chief? Thank you. Uh, I, I wish to extend my regards to your listeners and viewers. Uh, actually, uh, the enskinment uh, is necessitated by the unwillingness of the region to perform the funeral. Why am I saying so? The region of Nyangkwala has been the region for about for more than four years now. Uh, uh, based on the custom and tradition of Dagbon Kingdom, a region is not a chief. A region is just an acting person waiting to perform the funeral of his late father. For that reason, based on the uh, the custom and tradition of Dagbong, if a regent of a, a, a particular skin sits for a very long time, it is the duty of the uh, superior chief to engage the regent to perform the funeral. There are reasons why uh, a regent may sit for long. One of the reasons is uh, inability to finance the funeral processes. Uh, the, based on that, the king of Dagbong has been engaging the regent and his family to find out if it is because of uh, inability to finance the funeral so that he will be able to assist them to do the, to perform the funeral. Uh, the regent 
the family of the regent, his majesty has been engaging them to a point that they themselves gave several dates to perform the funeral for about two to three years now. Anytime they set their own date, they, 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 they don't obey the date. They, they renege on their own promises. For that reason, the, the king of Dagong uh, finally, uh, after the uh, engagement with the, uh, the family of the, the family heads of the region, called all of them together, including the community, the various communities under Nyangpala, to set his own date for them. And the, his own date also came to pass without them showing the signs of performing the funeral. And uh, as for funeral of a chief, it behoves on the family to decide as uh, when to do to perform the funeral. But the enskinment of a new chief, it is it lies in the bosom of the king to do that. So because they fail to to perform the funeral as instructed by the king of Dagbong, mm. as that it stands is now, the king went ahead to enskin the chief. For so, Nyangpala community. Absolutely. And uh, thank you for giving us the background. But as it stands now, there is violence. Business has come to a standstill. I mean, um, there is fear and panic in the area. Now, are we going to see a reversal of the decision of escaping a new chief for these communities? Or it still stands because as it stands, the family has been pushed while the funeral has not been performed yet. Does the enskinment stand, or there's going to be a reversal for the right thing to be done before we go ahead to enskin a chief? Uh, thank you for uh, this question. The, as for reversal of the decision of uh, the king, it, 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 uh, it, it is something that will not be, uh, can, will not be considered again. The king will not reverse... The, his decision. It is uh, only the funeral that they are still considering. They are engaging the various uh, factions to see what they can do to give the region the chance to perform the funeral. But for the enskinment, it holds. Mm. Fatal Abdul yeah. Idrisu is the Registrar of the Dagbon Traditional Council. He shared his thoughts, reasons why, you know, the Dagbon overlord had to skin a new chief. Let me go on to our correspondent in the area, Noah Nash. Uh, he is our Northern Regional Correspondent and he was in Nyangpala community uh, early part of today to share his thoughts on really uh, what he's seen in the area. So, uh, Noah, thank you very much for your time this evening and as usual, always joining us to bring us up to speed on the latest happenings on issues in the Northern Region. Now, what was the mood like? The morning when you got into the community and i'm talking about nyangpala and its surrounding communities now do uh we still have security presence there like we were seeing on our all right, all right, let me try for the last time. Unfortunately, we could not hear Noah for my viewers out there. My sincere apologies, but I tried to raise him on the line the last time. Let's see how this time it works out. So Noah Nash is our correspondent in the northern region. He was in the Nyangpala community this morning, and he joins me to give me the latest updates. Now, Noah, I'm sure you heard me the first time, but I couldn't connect with you very well. So can you give us the mood of the community when you got there this morning? And like I saw a while ago, Security situation there has been beefed up. Can you give me a sense of security in the community? Uh, what is currently happening is as a result of the instruction that uh, took place from the DISEC meeting yesterday. And what happened at the DISEC meeting was that the family of the late chief have requested to uh, be given some time to perform the funeral right. The argument that took place at the DISEC meeting yesterday was that he cannot be given an extra more weeks to do the funeral except seven days. So within a week, he should be able to perform the funeral of his father and to vacate the palace. That had brought in a lot of relief within the township, especially looking at the, the nature of the situation. This morning, my visit has to do with... Um, the shootout that happened earlier 
and we wanted to know because we heard rumors that some people were injured and so we wanted to know where they are receiving treatment and others the rumor still stands that uh, some people received uh, some people were shot as to the number we can tell but the security situation within Yangbala is still being beefed up the military has been withdrawn but when the funeral processes begins within the Nyampala township, likely that you have the security presence again from next week to actually uh, enhance the security situation towards the funeral rights. So as it stands now, we have been given seven days to actually perform the funeral rite. That took place, uh, that is according to the DICEC instruction, uh, which has been communicated to RECSEC, and RECSEC is also apparently also adhering to that principle. The palace has also said they will not entertain anything beyond the seven days. So that is also something that we are also looking at critically. Mm. Noah, just before you go on now, um, have you been engaging residents in the area? Now, I from the videos that we're seeing or the shots that we're receiving, what well, people are fleeing the town. Have you been engaging the residents? And indeed, what have they been telling you? The residents are, those who left have come back. Um, the reason being that um, with the presence and the meetings that took place between Daisek and then the Regent's team and the other team from the Yanis Palace have actually brought in a lot of calm. People have now been told that they, they will allow him to perform the funeral. So that alone is bringing a lot of relief. Today, as I speak to you, in the morning, there were a lot of celebrations that were going on. Naming ceremonies were taking place in the Nyampala Township. Though that also gives you a reason to believe that people are really comfortable with the decision that has been taken by DICEC. And so that gives you a lot of hope. Students have also returned, especially the UDS students who live close to the palace area, who have rented apartments around, have all returned back to those places again. So I can tell you for a fact that things will be normal from Monday as it stands because it's almost a weekend and a lot of people go home and come back. But I can I can tell you the fact that the shops that initially we had on the along the stretch that were closed down have all been reopened again. So that gives us a lot of relief. All right, Noah Nash is our Northern Regional Correspondent. We're grateful for your time that you joined us with updates from the Nyangpala community.